Welcome to this video on 2D drawing in Rhino. In this video we're going to be looking at how to trim and join certain lines together to form different shapes within Rhino 7. To begin with this we're going to open up the top view just by double clicking on the top icon here and selecting the polyline tool to begin to draw out a series of lines and shapes for us to work with. We're just going to kind of draw out a few just using this tool, switching to arc mode if we need to to kind of draw some shapes with different sort of curving arcs as well as using kind of lines to help us sort of draw out these shapes and I'm not being kind of too perfect about what these shapes are at this time. So now we've got a collection of shapes here we're now going to try and intersect a few of these shapes together. I'm just going to select a shape make sure the gumball tool is on so we get this kind of red and green arrow here to allow us to move these shapes and just move them over one another to intersect one shape together. We can do the same with this shape over here. Now it might be that we want to create a kind of single outline for this shape, or continuous shape, using these objects we have here. And to do this we have a series of tools we can use to help trim off excess bits of lines and also join lines together. These are found in this little menu here with the join tool, the trim tool, the explode tool and the split tool here. We're going to start with the trim tool here which allows us to kind of trim off any unwanted sections of lines. The way this tool works is we can start by drawing the line or using a line that we want to cut with and then selecting the line that we want to trim. So in this example up here if I want this first line to be my cutting line we can select the trim tool, select the cutting line first which is this one, hitting our enter key and then selecting the part of the shape we want to get rid of, which is this small corner here. If we select that corner, you see it is then trimmed by my cut line, which is highlighted in yellow there. When you want to end the tool, just press enter on your keyboard and that will kind of end or finish that trim tool. Now we can do the same with these kind of end pieces of this line, just by selecting this first line here, then hitting the trim tool again and clicking on those end pieces to select those bits and trim those off. There we get left with our kind of trimmed lines together here. Now you'll notice we get left with two separate lines here and if we want to then close those up back into one loop we can just select them all again and hit the join tool here to join them all together. So we can do this for all of these shapes here just selecting the tool we want to cut with, hitting trim and then trimming off the corner. And I'd usually go around just selecting the shapes that I want to trim with, trimming off any excess pieces and then joining them together once we're done there. The way the trim tool works is you always want to select the bit of the line you want to delete. So in this case I want to delete this part of the line here so we select it like so. You'll see if you select another part it will delete that so you always click on the bit of the line you want to delete and it has to be fully intersected by my cut line as you can see here so where the cut line is intersecting the line that's where we can trim it. So this allows us to kind of quickly go around select multiple objects at a time hit the trim tool and start to kind of trim off those excess edges to leave us with this overall shape. It's important once we've got that final shape just to make sure we're selecting it all and joining it back again using the join tool to join it back into one continuous loop. Now as well as this we've got a few other tools we can look at in here. One of these is the explode tool and what this does is it allows us to take a polyline or a loop of lines in this case, hit explode and it will break it into single line segments for us here like so. This is quite useful if you want to sort of detach or move around certain lines or delete a particular line within a chain and redraw it as something else like this. So the explode tool and the join tool are essentially opposites of one another. One allows you to kind of join a group of lines together and one allows you to explode those group of lines back into single line segments like so. The last tool we're going to look at in line with these join and these trim tools is a tool called the fillet tool which is quite useful for allowing us to connect corners of lines together like so. So let's say we want to kind of connect the corner of these two lines. We can select the fillet tool here and it will ask us which curves we want to fillet and if we select the first curve and then the second it will then automatically link them in a corner like this. Now if we just control Z to go back one section and select that tool again 
you'll notice it has a radius option here. And by default, it will be set to zero, which will mean when you use the tool, you'll get a sharp corner with no radius on it. But if we then kind of draw out some lines and we actually want this radius to be set to a certain amount, for example, if we select this, hit the radius, type in five for five millimeters in this case, and then select these two lines, you'll see then it's curving that line round to form this filleted corner or this kind of curved corner as we go around. And this allows us to essentially sort of join lines together with a curve in that corner to round off any edges. So the fillet tie line is particularly useful for when we might have kind of drawn lots of segments together and we just want to kind of connect up one key corner like this at that end point, like so. So that's just a very quick introduction to the trim tool and the join tool in Rhino, as well as the fillet tool for connecting corners. In the next video, we're going to be then extending this and turning these objects into three dimensional shapes for us to use. Thank you for watching.